All right, I'm gonna show you how to change your brakes and save yourself some money. Easy enough that a girl can do it. First thing I like to do though, it's hard for me to see, I hope you can see this. First thing I like to do is make sure you can at least break the lug nut loose because when you get your tires changed, those guys at the tire shop like to tighten them down with that impact. I've already broke it anyway, but always check and make sure you can get them loose. And when you get your tires changed, always ask them to hand tighten them so you don't get stuck and able to use a hydraulic jack or you can use that piece of crap that comes with your car but this makes life a lot easier. But always get the tire guys to hand tighten them for you. So I've already loosened these up. So loosen them, break the seal while it's on the ground. Break how tight they are while they're on the ground. And I already did that. So next step, jack it up. So it's off the ground enough you can obviously get the tire off of the ground. Then loosen all your take all your lug nuts off and don't pull a Christmas story and put them in the hubcap and sling them and have to yell fudge. change my brakes many years ago. First time I had to pay someone to do it was enough for me. It's not that complicated and of course when you take it in to get your brakes changed and all kinds of other steps all of a sudden wrong with your car too. And of course I chose the dented side of my car to make a video. Anyhow. I've got rocks under the tires. Make sure you scot your tires. I've got it in the park. I've got the emergency brake on. Not allowing any children to get in the car while it's jacked up or anybody else for that matter. I like these hydraulic jacks better because they're more stable than those little scissor jacks that come in the trunk of your car. So you start taking these off. Should let the top one in. And it holds it on there better. Anyway. Put your foot down here at the bottom. Of course, I'm wearing sandals, which is not wise. I recommend closed toe shoes, but anyway. Well, I take it off too. I kind of make sure there's no nails like I found in my other one. That's my next stop. I am going to have to take it to get it patched. So with the other side, number one rule, never put any part of your body underneath the car. Or if it were to fall off of the jack, then it'll cut your freaking leg or something else off. But the other side, these bolts were extremely tight. I say these brakes have never been changed. So I'm going to put a little WD-40 on them while I sit here. I've got my brakes and everything. I've already done the other side. I'll try to save this brake lubricant. They gave me the hard sell for about 49 I usually don't get it, but they... They were insistent, and I just said fine. I've never used it, but anyway, we'll do what they said. So make sure you got your right size socket, and remember, left is loose, right is tight. So you have to look at it, how you were going to be putting the, the bolt in there. Sorry, sorry for the butt shot. 
So make sure you're loosening it, not tightening it though. But again, make sure you don't put your leg under this rotor or whatever, because God forbid, if that thing were to fall, be working at the IHOP. And if you have any doubt, back in the 80s, they used to have a show called, a video called Faces of Death, and a guy was changing his brakes all alone, like I am, but he put his, he had his leg underneath the router, it fell off, cut his leg off, and he bled to death before anyone could find him. So, that's a pleasant side note. Just a handy reminder to not put your body parts underneath it. I'd rather my arm get broke or something, and something get cut off. So, I'm loosening this bolt up here. I guess I should show you what I'm doing. These two bolts right here, I hope you can see on the back of this brake, is what I'm loosening up. These two have to come out of here, and then this whole piece will come off. So, I'm going to continue to loosen these, because like I said, these brakes have never been changed to the best of my knowledge, and they're kind of being stubborn, so hold. Okay, like I said, these have never been changed to the best of my knowledge. These have been pretty stubborn on me. So I can find a way to pop this phone up so you can see what I'm doing here. I want you to get to stay still. These two nuts right here, these two bolts right here is what have to be loose. And now I finally got them loose. Again, don't pull a Christmas story and lose these bolts. You'll be screwed. So be careful to note how these things are put together. Here's my bolts. I'm going to set them next to my lug nuts. Got my brake parts and all this stuff here. All you need to do this is a socket and your drill over your ratchet and uh, the proper size socket. But make sure you note how these are on here. This is going to come right off of here. And this is your caliper right here. You're going to need a C-clamp to be able to push this back in in order for when you put new pads on there to have enough room that they'll go on there. But note these little clips here and make sure you notice what direction they're in. Just to help yourself, you can put the piece that's on the outside, on the bottom here and the piece that's on the top. Set it in the back. Take these brake pads out. These came with the new clips. Some of them don't. You buy the cheap ones. They don't a lot of times, so they got a little higher grade. This actually doesn't have the squeaking part on it. The other side had a squeaker on it, which indicates you need new brakes. Anyhow, it just started squeaking yesterday, so I went ahead and knock this out on a Saturday instead of working on Sunday. So put that clip in there exactly how it was. There's just little teeth here that clip in there. You hear it click right in there. And since they were insistent on this lubricant, I've got this lubricant here. All you need is a C-clamp for this caliper. If you're in a bind, you can use a pair of channel locks. You can get enough leverage on them. But you just need to put that C-clamp over top of this, this caliper. See this round piece? We're having to press it back in here. So, actually, I did this the other way and it worked a whole lot better. I like to use a uh, vice grip channel lock or vice grip C clamps but mine have mysteriously disappeared I had four or five of them and they're all missing and so I went to go buy some new ones they're 22 bucks a piece now I know why mine are missing anyhow just screw this down until this ring that is the caliper is all the way back as 
far as it'll go. That's as far as it'll go. So, that part's done. Now they insist. They say you can put some of this lubricant on that uh, caliper piece, but obviously I didn't. I usually, like I said, I usually don't use that stuff. Probably a mechanic will get on here and say that's wrong. But I am going to use it on this. Okay. Don't touch these rotors and stuff. You don't want to get a bunch of grease or anything on them. Keep your hands off. This one's a little trickier to get in there. you got to kind of angle it towards the front. And this clip's kind of being ornery. So here's the lubricant. They'll hard sell you for $1.49, but here it is. It's on there. Blah, blah, blah. I've never used it, like I said, but they insist. So, that's that. Your new brakes are in. This is real time. Super, super easy. You have to press this. These are kind of spring loaded. So just press it in a little bit and there you go. Get your bolts. Put one bolt just a little ways in there. You don't want to tighten it yet because otherwise you'll flip it off and you just want to get two of them in there. When you get it lined up, it'll go right in there. Now you were taking your brakes off before, so we're putting them on, so just reverse your ratchet now, and you'll be tightening them, so and it's a whole lot easier to tighten than it getting off of there, but, so, just tighten it down as tight as you as tight as you can get them. I've changed my brakes many a time, and I've tightened them myself. I've never had any brakes fall off. I do try to get them on there as tight as I possibly can, though. Mm. All right, look, only one busted knuckle so far. So that's it. Your brakes are done. You can bleed your brakes and all that. Check out another channel for that. I'll just pump mine real good before I go down the big hill. Make sure that they work. So, let me get my tire again. Like I said, I like to make sure there's no uh, nails or anything in it. I checked it out as I was rolling it to a secure location. Just line up your plugs here. Easier said than done, I say. Well, it's not that damn complicated. I'll just make it complicated. up against it. At least one nut, lug nut on there. And you can keep it from popping off there anyway. Now we'll put the rest of them on. Just loosely put them on there. And I'll use the lug wrench to tighten them. Your rotors are in bad shape. You'll need to take them and get them turned and all that. Mine are in pretty good shape. They... So I just swap my brakes out. But don't drive around squeaking your brakes for weeks and weeks. Just screw up your. 
rotors. So when you tighten these lug nuts down, don't go one, two, three, four, five around. Skip around, kind of like make a star shape. Sorry for the butt shot again. Take that handle out so you don't do something stupid with it. There's hand hand tightenings as tightened as I can get them while it's still jacked up. jack in your car too. I bought a different jack thinking it'd be more compact and easier and lucky for me I decided to check it out before I've had it a couple months and I hadn't tried it out until today and the damn thing wouldn't fit underneath my car. So before you end up on the side of the road with a flat tire make sure you have a jack and a jack that will work on your vehicle. So just a little FYI that might save you a headache. All right, snap. Again, don't go right in the line. Well, and try to tighten them as much as I can without straining my back. Now it's up on the jack. Okay. They're all tightened. At least hand tight. Loosen your car jack, put it down, and then really put the oomph to it. Okay, try to use my knee pads come in handy for many reasons, just for being on the ground, and then you can have leverage if you need to. <clears throat> Now you can go straight around, like one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> All right, it's as tight as I can get them. And then it was about that tight when I took them off of there. So just remember to always ask them to hand tighten them. And, uh, course in a day or so of driving go back and double check that they haven't loosened up but uh anyway I just saved myself a uh, whole bunch of money I didn't have to spend so give it a try be safe